with hatred like I was covered in sin. Must I appear to be fated all just because of my skin? Wall Street stock crash directly affected 25 million people and caused losses of $50 billion, the result of the wartime speculation craze. The winds that blew in the 30s in the United States were winds to be remembered. The winds of the Depression, as deep as it went. Days of the Bonus Army camping on Washington's doorstep, demanding decent treatment. Decent treatment meaning a living wage instead of an existence. Sitting by the river on a summer evening, listening to the dark is hum. Well, FDR was in and he was ready to go to work. First, there was a four-day bank holiday to sort of give the money boys a breather. Then the president called a session of Congress and things began to hum. Bank deposits were insured. The country went off the gold stand and began to get jobs. After years of opposition to New Deal policies, Henry Ford arrives in Washington for a two-hour luncheon conference with the president. The 74-year-old industrialist announces he's here to listen, not to give advice. His son Edsel and William J. Cameron are also invited guests. Differences exist between the White House and Ford on New Deal labor policy and the Wagner Act. It is hoped Mr. Ford will join the 16 industrial leaders who pledge support to FDR in any program that might encourage business. For America's Congress, President Truman makes the most momentous speech since the death of Franklin Roosevelt. He declares political war on Soviet Russia. Great responsibilities have been placed upon us by the swift movement of events. From now on, it means that anti-communist America will make its influence felt in European affairs. issues of world peace and world recovery are sometimes portrayed as disputes solely between the United States and the Soviet Union. This is not the case. The char cleavage that exists is not between the Soviet Union and the United States. It is between the Soviet Union and the rest of the world. What the world needs in order to regain a sense of security is an end to Soviet obstruction and aggression. As the foreign ministers of 12 Western nations enter the departmental auditorium in Washington, there begins a new epoch in the history of the world. Acknowledging that security is indivisible, 12 nations combine in a united front from the Tropic of Cancer to the North Pole. An attack on one is an attack on all. It is a simple document, but it, if it had have existed in 1914 and in 1939, supported by the nations who are represented here today, I believe it would have prevented the acts of aggression which led to two world wars. A visit to any maternity ward, this one happens to be in Washington's Columbia Hospital for Women, is convincing proof that a squalling new American is born every seven and a half seconds. And so, at the Washington Census Bureau, President Johnson waited for the population indicator to clock up the country's biggest all-time score of 200 million people. Slowly, the indicator crept up to the grandest grand total in the history of the United States. And there it was. Fighting soldiers from the sky Fearless men who jump and die Men who mean 
just what they say. But it kept on going for a couple more hours, we might have been hurt. Uh, I don't think many of the soldiers were really worried about the outcome. Uh, I just wish this guy had come after us more often. Uh, it's a lot easier than going in after him. Our mission this morning, moving back up in through the sector where the company came through. Vietnam. United States helicopter gunships backed up ground forces in a strong assault on a Viet Cong position only three miles from Saigon's Tan Son Nuc Air Base. 